I am in a different part of the woods this time. I'm in Indiana. I'm in the Charles C. Dean Wilderness. Got Jeremy from All Things Outdoors. Did you bring your uh, A. Todd chili dogs? I have them in the cooler. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a requirement, right? That's, thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes. Every time. Look at this. Indiana. Got a little rocks, little hills. Nice. I've got to fix this thing. It's all my face. Turn around. It's in my face constantly. Let's do it, dudes. Right. Hey, be careful there. That's a little sketchy. Oh, the cave. So in the comment section, if you know what this is named after, I say it's called Patton Cave, but if you know any history about it, please let me know. Thank you. I'm gonna say this is pretty wild, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This was definitely some kind of mining or something. Surely. Can you imagine being a coal miner? Being getting in these areas, you're going like two miles into the mountain or something. Hey, crazy. Be it. hey homie. Yeah, buddy. This way? That way? That way? I mean we can go that way if you want. Let's check it out. Alright. All right. That's it. Water well, getting deeper over here, dude. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll get wet for sure. I'm getting definitely shallow. Whoa. Oh, this is only probably maybe three feet or so high. Yeah, it's pretty low. Wow, is that steam? That's steam coming off me. Isn't that crazy, the cold water off the warmer rock? <laughs> yeah, is that steam coming off of me? Yeah, I forgot to tell you, this is an active volcano. Dude, what? In Indiana? <laughs> I don't think so. Dude, I owe you for this one. You think? Yes. <laughs> I need to bring like wet gear and go way back in there. Yeah, yeah. It definitely got tighter and tighter, but maybe, how cool. Maybe a little more lighting so you could see a little better too. Yeah. So. Got wildlife. Can you see? There he is. Hello, little buddy. That's still hard to see, isn't it? Man, he <laughs> blends in really well. Lake Monroe. Pretty cool. Hopefully we'll have a good sunset tonight. At least I hope so. I always like camping by lakes. Got a big campfire. Yeah. Got plenty of wood around here for sure. But we're gonna drop off packs. Don't let this site fool you. Might be something awesome around the corner. I see. Let's check it. Packs off. <laughs> so we kept walking, found this campsite. And this one, we have a better view of the lake. Here's the mystery that happens every now and then. You take off your pack, you go to go look for other campsites, and you're like, where did I put my backpack? <laughs> <clears throat> Definitely not the first time this has happened to me. One of the things when backpacking season gets hotter and hotter is I always bring a little lightweight fan. They make them so good now with USB ports, you don't have to carry batteries or anything. They're lightweight just as essential as hot hands is in the winter time when it's 20, 15 degrees, you won't have hot hands. This right here, when it gets up in the 80s, you know, even 90s, if you're out and about, carry a little fan, you'll thank me for it. Dude, hmm? is that wine in a box or coconut water? It's the nectar of the gods. It is wine in a box. <laughs> <laughs> His Boda box, which is a, uh, What's the wine called? Boda, Boda Mini. is. It's a Boda box, but this is the Boda Mini. It's the smaller version. They got it for sitting at the beach. Little campsites. Kayaking. I like kayaking and drinking the box and the wine is good. Trust me, it's safe. Bicycling. <laughs> What's that one? Uh, Right above bicycling. Is it, I don't know. Is that like a, school? I think that's cooking. It's kind of like Jeremiah and math, yeah. drinking and doing math. <laughs> <laughs> cooking. Oh, it's like yeah. cooking. Yeah, it? yeah, it's a so cutting board and a knife. Yeah. Okay. Look at them. <laughs> the active life, drinking the wine. <laughs> yeah, box. Oh, that hammock life in the rain. I'm sitting here in my hammock. It's like a little rocking chair. Got my tarp. You can hear the little pitter patter of rain. As long as it's not like kabooming, kabooming with thunder and lightning, I'll be okay. And big crazy wind. But right now, the wind is calm. The rain is just pitter pattering. That's as peaceful as it gets in your hammock. This is the enjoyable time right here. You're just kind of rocking back and forth. 
listening to the rain, hearing the sounds of nightlife. Ah, uh, this is the time to be outdoors. I love this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is some chicken I've got cooking. I got underneath here and said, heck with the fire because the rain coming. This is just about ready. Chicken cordon bleu. Not sure what I'm gonna eat with it, but I think I need to get that off the stove. That's for sure. Morning time, morning time. We had quite a bit of rain last night, but it was okay. Didn't do too bad. Jeremy got the fire going. Thank you. My cook system that I keep, and especially it's one of the things I like when it gets warmer weather, but it's a GSI Soloist. It all comes in one compartment to get. This is a cover that I keep because these little things might hurt your gear. This, you can actually fill it up with water, wash your hands, use it for cooking, whatever, but I never really do that. I just use it for a cover. One of the things you have with it, your cook pot, my stove, which is a MSR, MSR pocket rocket, coffee, gas canister, and in the warmer weathers, I will use this mug like this instead of my GSI one that's made for cold weather. But when it's warm, this works great. And then your lid that you have for your cook pot, you just flip it over. It works great for your coffee. It's got a little koozie to keep your hands all together, all in one. It's a great system, weighs less than a pound. Get it. Each new state that I go backpacking in, I always enjoy leaving a little something behind for Mr. Backpacking with Jason. A little morning constitutional, and it should be a glorious one. And just gotta find the right spot for Indiana. Found a turtle in the top oh, of the ridge. I'm just a frightened little turtle. We ain't gonna bother you, bro. Believe you be. I think so. Look at him, he's scared. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna come get you. Boy, he's way up in there. <laughs> Good find. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That turtle's like me when I get in cold water. <laughs> That's something I definitely didn't think I'd see in the woods. They guess had an old house or something around here? I don't know. I, I wonder. They had to have had something. Wow. Just a brick. That's pretty wild. Is it hollow? Yep. This is called the old hollow tree on this trail. We're stopping here for a little break. It's called Frog Pond. And in the comment section, if any people that's been here or know any history about Frog Pond, let me know. I take it that there's some kind of settlement or something here back in the old days, but if you know any history on it, let me know in the comment section. Frog Pond, Charles Dean Wilderness. We're real close to the campground area. I think we're gonna find a car camp spot for tonight. Just chill and hang out around here somewhere. I have to head out early in the morning. Tomorrow's my dad's birthday. Turns 89 years old. The Mr. Backpacking Father, Poppy. <laughs> As my time is ending here at the Charles Dean Wilderness, just gonna hang out the rest of the night with Jeremy, talk about some good old times and trips that we've had together around the campfire and enjoy it. I'll leave in the description box, Jeremy from All Things Outdoors. I'll leave his channel and the kind of sort of the route we did. It's kind of close, kind of has the cave on there. I'll leave a, in the description box, a link to the trail, sort of what we did, kind of close, but you know, you can figure it out around there. And remember guys, you got one life, live it.